Hello, I'm Jack, and this is part two of our tour of the Phoenix Earthship. Come on in and let's find out how it's made. As you can see here, it's built with tires, basically rammed earth in tires. They weigh about 400 pounds apiece, and then it's brought up just like this, stacked just like bricks, with mud and concrete in between. As you can see, somebody drank a lot of Budweiser just to to make the house and it, it has some wire as well to reinforce it. A lot of the interior walls as you can see right here are made with cans and these cans do not help with the thermal mass but they do take up space and you have to use less concrete. As you can see here there's a little workshop. Here's another example of a skylight. You'd have a really good, it's a huge skylight that you can regulate the heat and the temperature by the way, the Earth stays about 58 degrees, and so it doesn't take much solar gain coming in from the uh, windows to heat it up to the 70-something uh, degrees that we had for the last uh, night or so. Now, this other wall here, as you can see, is made of both cans and bottles. This right here is, I guess, one of the, the uh, systems set up for, I guess, a washer and dryer. Here we have a potable water expansion tank, and we'll come back to that in just a little while. This is the heart of the system, and as you can see, this is what helps with the solar. Uh, the, the whole system where it regulates it, it comes in and the DC power is converted into standard AC power and you just a regular fuse box. As you can tell, the system just kicked on, and we have here the water tank. As I mentioned earlier, the water actually gets recycled four times, and this is what's called the water board right here, and this is the heart of the water system. This particular unit has probably at least a 100-gallon tank to, to support the earth ship. So let's go outside now and let's see what it looks like outside. So the walls of the actual Earthship itself are about a little bit over three feet thick. And when the wind comes in or the sun comes in, it helps to heat up the house and it heats up the solar mass and it retains the warmth. We're going to go outside and look at of the actual unit and the water recycling part of it is about. By the way, much of the furniture in this house is custom made. All the stained glass is custom made for the house as well. You can see this is a support structure that is used here, the Vegas, and some of the newer Earthships now use a truss system as opposed to a, uh, the beam system. These are quite heavy to use and build. Let's go outside where it's still nice and cold. We'll visit this here. As you can tell, this house is still partially under construction and there's still a little bit of work to be done. This is part of the water system as you can tell where the water actually gets drained off the roof and simply gets recycled here. They use very thick glass as you can see, the greenhouse inside is very humid in, inside. We actually out, have out here a chicken coop. And we have about six chickens in there that give them fresh eggs every single day. And this is a nurse ship as well. And this has been built of bottles and cans as well with just chicken wire over it. 
Now we're going to go to the back of the house. As you can still see, they're still undergoing some construction. And let's go up on the roof. As you can see, the whole house here is built for drainage. I mentioned it's cold out today. And the roof is actually metal, it, it assists in draining. And as you can see here, this is where it comes in. And so the water is drained right here. This is also built in bottles and concrete. And it drains here from the roof, it drains over here as well and it gets filtered and used for the house. So basically any house or any area that has at least five inches of rain a year can utilize this kind of a system. There's no uh, outside water system involved. That's the skylight system right here. As you can see, it's just a pulley system. There are rocks and it's pulled with a rope and it simply opens up. Here's more of the solar panels. There's eight more solar panels up top. Some of the earth ships actually use wind power as well. And they could actually use it up here because it's windy. You can see over there the different color panels of metal. That is actually recycled metal from washing machines. You can see the different colors over there. Let's go back and take a look over here. As you can see, this is land earth that comes up against the house. Inside this room, this storage room, are some of the batteries used for the solar power. And right in here there's two, four, six batteries. Slams, and then we have another storage unit here. And this is used for basic storage and whatever else they need. Let's go around to the front. So this is rammed earth, as you can see, that comes up to the back of the house. So part of the house is actually buried. The house is also sloped on an angle so that it will capture the water. And so the water comes in here on this side as well down into the drainage system and gets used for the house. So let's come and uh, take a look at the outside of the house again. So much of the house used is from recycled materials. It uses old car tires, it uses bottles, it uses earth, it uses cans, and the bottles can either be glass or plastic. Some of the plastic ones are used for decorative purposes as well. And as you can see, it's so cold we actually have ice still on the car. And this is the outside of a Phoenix, of course. And so the house, again, no, uses no outside electricity, no outside water. It actually has no heating system because the house itself 